This video will explain how to set up an HD CBX 360 tool. In this demonstration we'll be using a two and a half gallon paint pot, our number three tool with a three inch head. We have air hose running from the compressor, 25 foot of fluid and air hose, and a paint tank. First we will remove the rotating head on the tool. Using two crescent wrenches, loosen the nut that holds the head into place. Take this off, followed by unscrewing the head of the tool. This will leave the halo exposed. Next we are going to adjust the amount of fluid that goes to the head. With the air pressure off going to the tool, we're going to turn up the fluid pressure till we get a constant stream of fluid coming out of the tool. Once you reach the desired flow from the halo of the tool, make note of the pressure on the fluid gauge. From here, start a timer and measure the amount of fluid that escapes from the tool. Using these two numbers, you should be able to determine how much coating will come out and what pace you should pull the tool back. Now, reassemble the tool by putting on the head first. Screw it all the way down into the base. Using your two crescent wrenches, apply the nut and tighten it into place. So that the tool is centered in the pipe, adjust the scissor carriage so that it is firmly seated inside the ID of the pipe. Tighten the Allen nuts and then insert the tool into the pipe to make sure it fits. To begin coating, first place the tool all the way at the end of the pipe. Next, you're going to open up the air regulator and the ball valve that controls this airline. The tool head will begin to spin. With the operator ready and the fluid regulator set at the proper pressure, you can open the fluid valve. Gradually pull back at the rate you determined earlier to get an even coating. Once the tool reaches the end, you'll need to shut off the fluid while leaving the head spinning. When the tool is ready to be removed from the inside of the pipe, shut off the air line, which will turn off the air motor. Once you are finished using the tool, be sure to run thinner through the line in order to clean out any paint that may be left inside. Make sure to remove the head to clean the inside and the halo thoroughly, as this will improve the coder's performance for later uses.